Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to New Life Christian Center. That's right here. New New Life Christian Center right here in Port Richie, Florida. As always, I would like to invite you all out here to 7031 Potomac Drive, Port Richie, Florida, 34668 to our wonderful facility, New Life Christian Center, where we hold church services every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock and every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock a.m., that's clock time. Come on out. I would love to shake hands with you. If you're anywhere in the Port Richie or New Port Richie area or even in the Tampa area, the holiday area, come on out. Love the love on you with the love of the Lord. I would love to be able to minister the word of God to you to show you how to follow Jesus Christ faithfully, holy, and holy. Several months ago, I came to you all and I was teaching to you all about uh, will the world in, or uh, you know, different things around this around that era. You know, there's a lot of different things that's going on in today's time. I do not want people to be deceived, but at the same time, I don't want you to be ignorant. What am I? What am I talking about? As far as being deceived, the world as we know it is going to come to an end. I don't have time. To really, really go over all the different scriptures. But throughout Genesis, the Revelation, in the Bible, the Bible clearly says that the earth is going to remain. It's not going to be destroyed. Even at the end of the book of Revelation and other scriptures, it says that there's going to be a new earth and a new heaven. If you look up that word new, it just means remodel. Like if you go into your home and, you know, it can be the same home that you've been living in for 20 years, but you remodel it. It's almost like you put a brand new coat of paint on it or you put some new cabinets into it. That's the way it is when Jesus was referring to the word new. It means to be remodeled. He's going to give us a remodeled earth. The world as we know it. Or the world system, or how th how the world is operating, all that's going to be destroyed. Praise God! If you go read in the book of Revelation, toward the end, like in uh, Revelation chapter sixteen through eighteen, chapter nine and chapter nineteen, it all leads up to the Babylon, that Babylonian system. That's going to be destroyed. It's completely going to be wiped out. I want you to catch that. The world as we know it is going to come to an end. Don't look at it as if hell and fire and brimstone and everything going to be shooting out of heaven and God going to be judging the earth. You know, that will happen. I don't want you to be deceived. That's going to happen. But to you believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, if you do not know Jesus talks about too many different times in the book of Matthew. Talk about in the book of Matthew, chapter 25, 24, 25, and 26. Be not deceived. You know, in the book of Timothy, it talks about in the last days, perilous times should take place. Or like in the book of uh, Titus, it talks about people toward the end, they won't be able to endure, you know, uh, live out sound doctrine. Men will be lovers of themselves. They'll be they'll be pleasers of people instead of pleasers of God. They're going to do everything that they can to please themselves. All that is going on right now. But the climax, the climax of the world as we know it, when it happens, let me tell you people, talking to you believers, the rapture. That's going to be the biggest sign that we'll have, that the world will ever experience. Millions of people leaving off of the face of the earth. Now I know some of you skeptics out there. You may be wondering like, well, well you know the Bible and there are people that say that the world going to end. No, no, you still, you still, you're not listening to what I'm saying. The world as we know it. All this stuff, the murdering, the killing, the lying, the people can't keep covenants. You know, people breaking the marriage covenant is one of the greatest covenants that we have, and people are breaking that left and right. You know, even in the Christian community, 
divorce rate is 60 and 70 percent. Now, granted, I know a new study just came out not too long ago, and they said that divorce rates has gone down. Guess what? I know it's gone down because people ain't even getting married anymore, hardly anymore. You know, you having all these grand stages, and and I ain't talking about no Hollywood marriage where people getting married and they divorce a month later. I'm talking about us average, regular old everyday people, even the Hollywood folk. Guess what? I ain't even getting divorced. We just shacking up. Some of us going out. And that's why they're doing everything that they can to have lesbian homosexuals uh, marriages come together because some of them stay allowing together than the people who, who say that they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's messed up, personally, the way I see it. You need all y'all need to obey God. So the world as we know it. God is not going to let all that stuff just continue to just go on and on and on and on. It's been going on for centuries. Do you actually really believe God, great and almighty, holy God, just going to let that continue to perpetuate and go on and on and on and on and on? No, people. No. God loves us too much. Remember, go read through the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, especially in the book of Matthew, when the disciples were standing up there and they were looking at Jesus, gone, go to glory. And what did the angel say? This same Jesus showed up and said, hey, why y'all standing up here looking? Go do what Jesus told y'all to do. This same Jesus that you see leaving, going to come back. Glory to God. Glory to God. People have forgotten about that. Well, I know they've been saying Jesus is going to come back for years. Yeah, because Jesus said he's coming back. The Bible says he's coming back. I want to take you to when the, when, the, when the rapture takes place. That's when you know. Now, the second coming of Jesus, when he actually comes physically to the earth, that's going to take place after the rapture. You know, it's about seven, the seven, Bible says about seven years. There's going to be a good seven. When the rapture takes place, there's going to be a good seven-year span on the earth where the first few months is going to be like total chaos because people are going to be disappearing on the face of the earth. And then Satan, the, the Antichrist, is going to come in and he's going to be telling people a lie that he the Antichrist, that he's Christ and he going to, you better accept him or you're going to get your head chopped off. And, and yeah, I know about the 666. That's going to take place. And people want to put in their hands, I mean, their, their, their hands or their foreheads or, or whatever. I know all that stuff is going to take place. But Jesus said it best himself in Matthew chapter 24, chapter 25. He says, do not be deceived. Don't let anybody take your crown. Don't let nobody. Because all these things is going to happen. Do not get caught up in somebody constantly talking about that the world going to end. You men and women of God, you go tell people about Jesus. The world is going to take, it, it's going to end as we know it. It's going to end. I don't know when. Don't be writing me no crazy emails or say, write me no letter calling me talking about that when to give me a date, uh, give me a seat, what month, what 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 time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do know what's gonna happen. I just don't know when. I don't know when. God ain't woke me up in no dream and said, hey, it's gonna end Tuesday, 20. It might end by the time I finish. The world come to us. We know it, it will come to an end. The world will come to an end as we know it. Don't forget those keywords. As we know it. It may come to an end as we know it right now. So like, I'm, ooh, I'm gone. I don't know when it's going to happen. But I do know it's going to happen. But I do know when it happens, the first thing that's going to take place is the rapture. I want you to turn your Bibles. Oh yeah, I'm coming to you with the Bible. I've been trying to quote scripture, but I want you to actually read something here now. I want you to go to 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians. I want you to go to chapter 4, and I want you to start reading at verse 15. It says this, For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive, and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep.
talking about the people who died. No, people say, well, if, if Jesus came back right now, uh, how are we still being alive? How is it going to keep Jesus from coming back? It's not going to stop Jesus from the rapture taking place just because we're alive. Too many scriptures in, uh, in the book of 1 Corinthians, it says that we will be changed in the twinkling of an eye. 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, one of them two books. 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, where it said we'll be changed in the twinkling of an eye. Well, this old physical body is going to put off corruption. Unless you crazy, old age can't sneak up on you. I'm finna be, I'll be 40 years old in a little over a year. So I'll be 39 in a few months, and I'll be 40 in a little over a year. Old age ain't sneaking up on me. Every day I can see my physical features changing. I, I can see it. It's like I got new skin here. Hair, this won't do this. And no, uh, my I'm getting my eyes are getting a little closed or, or, or something. I can see that I'm getting older. I'm not crazy. I promise you I, I ain't crazy. But this old thing gonna be put off. I'll put on my new body. The Bible talks about this new body. And corrupt the body. It will not have a pain, or it, it, no more sickness or disease. It won't be to grab hold to. Cause all that stuff gonna go to hell. It's gonna be cast off in, in into the lake of fire. I ain't gotta be concerned about all that. But I'll be changed. It don't mean that everything that I didn't know, I'm just gonna automatically just come into the knowledge of it. I'm still gonna you still gonna have to be taught some stuff in the new kingdom. But he says, I'll be. I'm gonna go be with the Lord. Watch this. Verse 16. For the Lord himself, uh oh, that's Jesus, shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. All those people who died, like my father, he died, his body going to be raised, and God going to change that body into an incorruptible body. Praise God. My daddy going to enter back into that body. Watch this. Then, verse 17, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them. It's, just, it's, it's them, the people who've died before, as well as, as well as us. My body may not physically, there's going to come a time where a lot of people won't physically die. They won't physically go to a grave. But you will go through a death process. Which means that physical body is going to be changed. Praise God. Think about it. There's going to be some people on the earth. You'll never see. You'll never taste the death. The grave. You'll never go into the grave. You, you'll never taste it. The Bible talks about him. Look what it says. We shall be caught up. Or rapture. We'll be caught up together with them in the clouds. To meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Verse 18. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. Praise God. Praise God. That's going to be the first thing that happens. Now they came out with a movie several years ago. Several years ago. About the movie Left Behind. Where millions of people have forgot about that movie. It's going to be millions of people. Who are going to just disappear off the face of the earth. Who? Who are going to disappear off the face of the earth? Jesus said it himself in the book of John. For we must worship, for God searches for those. He, he, I mean, the Bible says, for he said, the, God wants those who will worship him in spirit and truth. The true worshipers. Go read this in the book of John. The true worshipers. These are the ones who have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord, and they have begun to live. According to the God's word. In some form or fashion. It all starts people. With you accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord. That's what it starts with. You ain't got to be concerned about when the world will end. That's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah we supposed to teach people and tell people. Because even in the Bible it says right here. Verse 13, but I would not have ye to be ignorant, brethren. He don't want us to be ignorant. He don't want us to be ignorant means not knowing. He wants you in the know. But if you get caught up in somebody coming on TV talking about the world going to end and, and you go canceling all your accounts and you know going to spend all the money and you go try to have all the fun. Yeah! Stay the course, people. Jesus said it to Peter. 
Peter, do you love me? Yes, Lord, I love you. He said, feed my lambs. He asked Peter again, Peter, do you love me? Peter says, yes, Lord, you know I love you. He said, feed my sheep. Jesus asked him a third time, Peter, do you love me? Peter got kind of frustrated. The Bible said grieved. Got, he got frustrated, got a little upset inside him. He was wondering. He said, Master, you know I love you. You know all things. Jesus says, feed my sheep. Go feed the flock. Go feed the flock of God. Lead people to Jesus Christ. Get them born again. You get them born again and you start teaching them how to live by God's word and you live by God's word. The rapture, is, that's going to take, take care of itself. The world as we know it is going to happen. Don't let nobody deceive you people. Get born again. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Join a church that's going to teach you God's word and teach you how to live by. I know New Life Christian Center is such a church, but there are many, many other churches out there. So if you read this in Memphis, my home church, Breath of Life Christian Center, and I'll tell you, Breath of Life Christian Center, Dr. Sammy Holloway, go to his church. I know people who live around the country that have churches right across the street from their house that's going to teach God's word. Find you a good Bible-based teaching church that's going to teach you God's word so that you can live and you can learn how to follow Jesus Christ faithfully, holy and holy. That's the first thing that's going to happen is the rapture when the world as we know it come to an end. Don't let nobody deceive you people. That's going, to take, that's going to take care of itself. But It's going to take care of itself. But you can escape all that stuff that's going to happen after it. Because there's going to be some things going on in heaven. And there's going to be some things going on in the earth. During the course of those times. Just like right now while you're in the earth. There's some things going on in heaven right now. Just like there's some things going on in the earth. Please people. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord. New Life Christian Center, come on out. We'd love to have you. 7031 Potomac Drive, Port Ritchie, Florida. New Life Christian Center every Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. I'm Pastor Ivory, and remember, I'm doing everything I can based on God's Word so that you can learn how to follow Jesus Christ faithfully, holy, and holy. God bless you. See you next time.